The Las Vegas Aces kick off their three game road stint with a dominant win. Welcome to Viva Las Aces. I'm your host, D. This is the podcast where we dig into everything that has to do with the Las Vegas Aces. Today, we are talking about the dominant win against the Minnesota Lynx. Before we dig into that, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. Drop some comments below. We are on all audio platforms as well. So be sure to please, please, please hit that like button. Rate us. Uh, whatever you can do to really help us out. We'd much appreciated. This is a part of the Deep Dig A Sports Network. So make sure to follow us. All right. So digging into this, the Las Vegas Aces actually, this is their first road game of the season. They travel to Minnesota to take on the Lynx. The Lynx were looking to make this a quote unquote measuring stick game. They really wanted to see what are we made of? How do we stack up against this team that has been so dominant over the last few years? Uh, we see that they've had some defensive struggles over the past couple weeks uh, this season just to get started. We think that we can make a run at them. And for, for a little bit, it did. It was a, it was a kind of an ugly game. A lot of turnovers to begin with on both sides. Uh, the Lynx just couldn't hit a shot to save their lives in that first quarter. They were shooting, I believe it was like 0 for 6 from 3. Uh, and the Aces just uh, really didn't feel like they were in rhythm all too well. I think it was a, a tied game heading into the second quarter. Uh, from there, Aces just took over. Uh, but, I mean, let's just go ahead and start there. Like This is defensively, this Aces team has struggled. I mean, I know they've been winning games. They've only lost one, uh, but they've given up the most three pointers heading into this game. Uh, and I think that's uh, kind of a sneaky stat that really doesn't mean a whole lot. If I'm going to be honest, yeah, it means you're getting scored on at an efficient rate and three pointers are obviously more points than uh, po points in the paint, but you got to look at the teams that they were playing. They played the Mercury twice, which are trying to shoot the three-pointer at a high volume. They said they want to average about 43-point attempts per game, which is crazy, but that's their style of play. So, hey, we have those two games in a short amount of span. Uh, other teams are going to shoot threes, obviously, but I think you got to kind of take that out of the equation. And really, Becky Hammond is trying to drill down. We don't care. Like, she was saying, I don't care about offense. I know we have scorers. I know we can go out there and put the ball in the basket. What we need right now is defense. I need everyone to lock down. And that's exactly what this Aces team went out there and did this night against the Lynx in Minnesota. They really put it to them. And you could tell down the stretch that the Lynx were just uncomfortable. Again, they turned over the ball a lot. They couldn't shoot well from three-point. And it really, down the stretch, affected this Lynx team. I think you started to see the confidence go down. While on the other end, the confidence just skyrocketed for the Aces. I mean, if you got to put one exclamation point on it, it's Asia Wilson. Asia Wilson has come out like a mad woman. I know a lot of people felt like last year she should have got the MVP. And she's playing like, hey, you didn't give it to me last year. I'm taking it this year. She has gone off. She is crazy i want to say she had let me let me pull up her stat line okay just against the Lynx, she had 29 points 15 rebounds three assists two steals and four blocks that's crazy i mean what we're seeing right now again go ahead and put your bets in early asia willison for mvp I'm calling it like this is she's just on a whole nother level showing people this is exactly what I can do. I believe she just got a Gatorade endorsement as well. So she's got her own shoe now. She's got Gatorade. She's she's really gunning for this MVP and she is like real on a mission. It's crazy. She's averaging this season so far 26 points. She's averaging 50 percent from the from the field to uh, uh, 2.6 uh, assists per game. 13 rebounds per game. It is crazy. So what she's doing is is just amazing to see. Uh, she's averaging, yeah, a double-double, which is uh, – so that's, that's what you got to say. The Stars came to play today. Asia Wilson was like, I'm going to – you guys think that – Minnesota, you think that you have the ability to compete with us and me specifically? No, it's not going to happen. I'm going to show you what's up. I'm going to let you know. 
that I'm still that guy. So moving forward, I, I again, put your bets in early, Asia Wilson, MVP. Uh, another person we've got to highlight, have to highlight her. They are calling her money. Kate Martin, the rookie out of Iowa, is just doing amazing with this team. I think this is the perfect match. Becky Hammond's like, if she had to choose a rookie, it would be her. This is like, she's a big guard, six foot. She plays with so much hustle. She is great defensively, and she could shoot the three. I think that fits in very, very well with what they're doing. And obviously, Becky Hammond thinks so too, because leading into this game, she had the most um, minutes off the bench, and she still led this. Uh, I believe she had 26 minutes off the bench in this game against the Lynx. So it looked awesome. I think that we're going to continue to see her flourish and start to get better and improve, especially under the tutelage of Asia Wilson, Kelsey Plum, and even Jackie Young. So I think that we're going to start to see her move forward in her game than what she already is. And what she is right now is, is a rising star. So it's really nice to see. What I'm interested in seeing is when Chelsea Gray comes back, what happens to this rotation? What are they going to do? Because now you'd have Jackie Gray, Jackie Young, Chelsea Gray, Kelsey Plum, Kate Martin. That's that's a lot of guards there, but I think Becky Hammond obviously is going to figure it out. I mean, you can't have too much of a good thing. As long as everybody gets in rhythm and starts to figure it out, cool. Uh, and then as this game started to wore on, the Aces really put it to them. They had uh, an, a monster third quarter. They got up by, I believe, 12 points. But then the links started to come back. They started. You started to see those cracks in the aces where, hey, we're going to give up threes. And that's what happened. They started to give up threes. The links started to come back. I believe they brought it all the way back to two. And then the aces pulled away again in the fourth quarter. And it just never looked back. I know there was a little bit of a run, maybe a minute or two in the fourth, where they brought it to within five, but then pulled it out. Aces ended up winning. It was 80 to 66. So it was a it was a blowout. And one thing you could say about this team, I think the message of, hey, this is a measuring stick game. uh, It really kind of took offense to the the aces. They were like, hey, this is not a measuring stick game. You're not in our league. Let us show you what we're all about. And they they brought them down to size. If you're the Lynx, you just got to take your lick. Hey, we're not there yet, but we're going to continue to get better. It's still a long season. Hey, let's get after it. On the aces side, you just showed hey, we can get it done defensively. We know what we are. We just got to continue to perform at this level and continue to gel together. Once we get Chelsea Gray back, we are going to have a true, true, true point guard, someone who is a coach on the court, and that's what we're looking forward to. Uh, But until then, we just got to continue to do our thing. Jackie Young is continuing to flourish at that point and understand each game, how much she's getting better and better. It's, It's pretty exponential. Again, really excited to see what happens with the rotation once Chelsea Gray comes back. But, man, this Aces team is looking good. They are moving over to Atlanta and playing the Dream Next. So be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to subscribe. Drop some comments below. Let me know your thoughts moving forward. All right. Later.